When you go to university, they're not going to spoon feed you. headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution for those of you who are new to the revolution let me do a quick introduction my name is Benita I am South African I'm 22 years old and I'm studying accounting in America so today's video I just wanted to do a little bit of a life update and uh, tell you guys what's been on my mind tell you what my plans are so the first part of the update is I am in my senior year um, which is my final year of studying for accounting and man it has not been an easy almost four years school is so freaking difficult like outside of just school being difficult in itself um, COVID came and made things so much harder and the fact that I'm studying abroad makes things so much harder for, for many many reasons so like when you are a senior and I'm sure many of you can relate who have or currently are a senior in uni when you're a senior first of all when you get to the end of your degree sort of you get this senioritis senioritis is basically when you get to a point where you are fed up of school fed up of studying fed up of this institution fed up of where you are you don't want to do anything all you want to do is chop life enjoy and be out of here and and just go into the next phase of your life but here's the problem the next phase of your life for many is tricky is scary is undetermined you know and throughout my years of college I've been hearing people say oh man I can't wait to be done with college I'm so over it um, I want to go into the real world and I've never shared that sentiment I have never with my own self been like can't wait to graduate because for me it's like what do I mean can't wait to graduate can't wait to like be done with school and then be in the real world where I have to work and pay my own bills and worry about real life responsibilities and you know redetermine my place in the world and stuff you know like I've never been in a rush to get there and now I'm almost there and so there's just this senioritis of me feeling like I'm tired you know and I, and I also have this anxiety where it's like I have gotten A's all throughout my college my, my college is a university now by the way so I go to university go to uni um, but um, my I've gotten A's all throughout my university career and now I have this anxiousness that is like don't drop the ball now you know what if I now drop the ball when I'm so close to the end if I continue getting straight A's until I graduate I will graduate with highest honors magma cum laude and that has been my dream since before I started uni and now I just have this crippling thing that is like what if you drop the ball what if you suck now and the thing that makes that so much more scary is the fact that I'm done with my major right so I need to, I need to take certain courses to fulfill my accounting requirement I'm done with that I've also fulfilled a minor so I've got a management minor I'm done with that so the classes I'm taking now are really just classes I'm taking just to get to my 32 credits that I need and it's like what if I go and drop the ball bro at the stupid classes that I'm taking for the vibes for the good times for the vibes for the babies oh another update is I'm currently a graduate student so I am currently working on my masters I'm getting my MBA and that has made my life increasingly difficult like my workload is so overwhelming if you guys have never seen my um, a week in my life vlog go check it out my my life has always been very hectic because I've been very involved in school leadership and now I've sort of taken a step back from the leadership but I, I still have leadership you know I'm a senior resident advisor hence I'm in this apartment I'm the president of an honor society um, you know and I'm and I'm still on the exec board of a few clubs but nothing hectic you know and it's like even though I've taken a step back from leadership this masters has really just wow like it's the workload for the master's degree 
has to this point and I've taken two courses to this point has not been difficult per se it's not been difficult to understand but the workload is so much more than undergrad and it's like I'm in this interesting position where I have to be double-minded you know where the way you do things as an undergrad is not the way you do things as a graduate student. As a graduate student, they require more from you in thinking, in quality of work. But also, hi guys, also another thing about grad school is all of the classes are night classes and it's three hour flipping, flipping night classes and it's like, please, why? Well, why? Some of them are over Zoom, which sucks, but some of them are in person, which sucks because three hour classes at night suck. It's upsetting me in my home, girl. So, <laughs> Sorry, but it, it really sucks. It really, it really sucks. But um, I have to like apply my mind and think one way for undergrad and think another way like for graduate students. And also just going into being a grad student and, and doing undergrad at the same time, no one prepares you for that transition where it's like in undergrad. You know in high school they're always like, when you go to university, they're not going to spoon feed you. They spoon feed you. In grad school, they don't spoon feed you. And so going into that uh, role where you go from professors who like teach you three times a week, two times a week, and you know, manage the workload to people who see you once a week, throw a bunch of stuff at you, you come together, you do group work, you talk, you, you know what I mean? Um, it's a very different transition. Um, so that's been pretty hard to like, you know, balance. Um, but with that being said of me doing my masters, that's really helped me a lot in terms of where I am right now. So another thing about being a senior in college is that many people are worried about what the hell am I gonna do next? Where am I going? And me doing my masters, um, and that's another thing so I've done so well in school and I've met my requirements that I could have graduated in December instead of um, in May 2022 I could have graduated this year because that's how like a hit I was with my stuff but because I'm doing my masters I had to slow it down and not graduate this semester so that my masters could be covered by the scholarship I have now and when I do graduate then I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna pay for my um, my master's scholarships are not as available for grad school as they were for undergrad so I'm gonna be you know just seeing what I can do if I can get a job at my school where they can cover my uni expenses I'm also applying to be an RA so right now I'm an SRA so I would apply to go back to being an RA that would make my housing free so I'm also like doing the math there about how am I gonna figure out the payment stuff for grad school but you know what, God will make a way. That's one thing for sure. I'm getting my masters here. That's that's it. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Why, why did I go into the whole uh, job thing? But anyway, I was saying, um, me doing my masters, and I had to slow down undergrad so that my masters could be covered, but me doing my masters has really helped me because I'm going to finish my masters in one year as opposed to doing it like in two years um, post-grad. I'm gonna do it in one year and, and that has really given me a lot of peace in this time because while people are like applying to grad schools now and applying for jobs and trying to figure things out at least I have the next year of my life figured out I know that I'm gonna be this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next year and then when I'm done with that year that's when I have to restart with stress again of like um, what am I gonna do so that's taken a huge load off my shoulders but it hasn't taken the load off my shoulders because it's like even though I know what I'm gonna be doing for the next year I'm still worried about my future I'm worried about failing I'm worried about being nothing I'm worried about disappointing myself my family my community I'm just I'm worried you know about not being able to get a job another reality about studying overseas is that not all companies are willing to work with international students because there's a payment that the companies have to make for for your visa for them to hire you so I went through this process where I was applying for an internship they were so impressed with me they were so impressed with my resume they were literally just raving about me you know and then it came this one question where they're like we see you're from South Africa does that mean you'll need visa sponsorship and I was like yes and immediately they were like immediately no. like unfortunately we can't proceed with your application like instantly I was like yeah no and that really sucked because it's like 
when you are a worthy candidate you know you i have the work experience i have leadership i have my gpa is 3.95 out of four you know i have all these things that qualify me but then me being foreign disqualifies me instantly you know so that's another thing you i feel like i'm like going off topic going off topic going off topic um but anyway that's another thing that I think about when I'm planning for my future that makes me anxious is that not everybody's willing to work with me Not everybody's going to make space for me in terms of companies then a lot of people ask the questions So what do you want to do after you graduate? I don't know mind your business You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that I don't know if I want to stay here and work or if I want to go back to SA but then SA also the unemployment day you know and staying here in America by the way is not as easy as just deciding I'm staying and that's it there's paperwork there's having a job and a visa and you know it's not just easy as done you know um, but just as an international student when you are worrying about internships and work you're not just worrying from the perspective of a regular senior who is super anxious and worried. I feel like there's double weight on your shoulder because you have to think about a visa, you have to think about paperwork, you have to think about which companies will take you, if any. You have to think about the fact that you are on a timer, you know what I mean? Um, you are going to school with students who, when if they can't find a job, they move back home while they look for a job. They can move to any state, you know. But when you want to stay and work in America, for instance, there's just so much more for you to think about. When you finish school entirely, where are you going to stay? I don't have any family here, so it's not that like I can say, let's say I get my visa extended. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to go with, live with my auntie in Kansas. I don't have an auntie in Kansas. I have an auntie in Limpopo. Just when you think about your future as an international student, everything is just so much more stressful. You know, stressful, like it's just it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. I didn't even mean to make this whole video about school, but again, I'm just yeah, you know. Um, I'm gonna flip this okay I'm gonna flip this video into episode one of my venting sessions and this is a segment I wanted to introduce to my channel where I just wanted to vent about a specific topic something I've been thinking about or caring and the reason why I want to do this is because well I think some of the stuff that I think about and process is interesting and I think some of these things people don't want to talk about so I would love to on my platform talk about these things and invite you guys to engage with me and even this whole college talk some of you will relate to the whole international student thing because you are an international student but others of you will relate just to the whole being a senior thing and and worrying about your life and jobs I mean let's talk about being a senior in SA right now like can you think about the stress you have of finding a job when all you see on Twitter and Instagram in SA it's actually so crazy because all you see, there's two things that you see. There's one side where all you see is people talking about unemployment, how much SA sucks, instability, you know, stuff like that. And then, so you're seeing all that. And you have this degree that, I mean, how much did it take for you to get it, you know? Because these things are expensive. And you see all that, now you're worried, when I graduate, what the hell am I going to do? I don't have connections, you know? Sometimes it feels like the only way for you to get anywhere. They always say, it's not about what you know it's about who you know so here you are with this degree knowing very well you're not from a connected family you're not connected you know um and so <laughs> it's like what the hell am i gonna do man you have this degree and you're gonna end up working at mcdonald's shout out to those who work out at mcdonald's pretty low of us to keep using mcdonald's as an example but you know as an engineering graduate you don't want to work at mcdonald's it, it just is what it is you know um so there's that reality that you face as a student and this is just me based on conversations I've had with people and, and me putting myself in the shoes of others. Um, but there's that. And then some of you are also dealing with the reality of you went to school, you must utilize this degree because you have to support your families. Your families need you. And it's like, how am I going to show up for them? But then there's the other part of Esther that you see where, you know, Boyti and Michali are on wherever that video was posted and they're like, I want 450k you know, girlfriend allowance. I want 50K <laughs> girlfriend allowance. It's like, SA has created this false sense of richness. I don't know if we think we're Dubai. I don't know if we think we're like this first world country 
where we can afford a whole lot of like we like we're not that we're not that we barely have electricity it's really embarrassing you know it's like we we treat ourselves as essay almost like social media and what i mean by that is we portray this rich life this wealthy you know standing and it's like when you look at the reality of the average person we're far from that you know and then you go on 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 social media and people are talking about these things and it makes you feel like as a 23 year old 24 year old that there's something wrong with you for not meeting these standards there's something wrong with you for not being able to give a girl 50k girlfriend allowance you know um and you go on twitter especially where you just see people posting screenshots of them receiving 15k and all these things and whoa it's a lot you know it's a lot so again even from the senior in in essay you know having to convince yourself that you are enough because even if you don't have all this money that you are enough even if you don't have all this clothing that you know one thing we need to drill into our heads as society is that people deserve respect and people don't deserve respect because they're rich because of the job they hold or their position they deserve respect because they're human unless you're a crappy human and you're horrible then you don't deserve respect but unless you rape kids you don't deserve respect if you rape kids you know or rape people in general you know you don't anyway guys so to wrap up everything i was saying about being a senior in college um or senior in high school wherever you are but i'm talking from my perspective you know i i just have faith that all things work together for my good that things are going to work out that the god who starts a good work in my life will establish it perfect and complete it you know establish complete and perfect um and i don't have all the answers i wish i did i wish i had more stability i wish i had more but i don't and it is what it is but I know it's gonna work out and for anyone who needs to hear this it is gonna work out it's gonna work out for me it's gonna work out for you it's gonna work out for anyone you're worried about it's gonna work out for all of us the same way it's worked out for others in the past my name is Benita Danielle and this was my venting session about life as a senior in university in America as a South African if there's anything you guys would like to see me talk more about dissect discuss this was more off the top of my head this kind of wasn't planned um comment below and let me know that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys